Tonight, some people in Lawrenceburg gathered to pray for the police officers who killed in the Dallas shooting and the two black men shot and killed by white police officers in Louisiana and Minnesota. Those at the vigil also prayed for peace, but as Monique Blair tells us, the service also had a few tense moments because of some unexpected fireworks. It's a story that's new at 11. Jesus, you came to heal the brokenhearted, and today hearts are broken. Shooting deaths in three separate states left many people with broken hearts last week. Now those people are doing what they can to heal. Good to see you. How was your trip? It was a lot of fun. Good. As members of Apex Ministries stood on the courthouse steps, they prayed for law enforcement, law enforcement families, and for unification. And to honor you is to love each other as ourselves. Father, our world has done the complete opposite and has become divided. I'm here begging you to unify your people, Father. To the hearts that are hurting, I ask that you will bless them with your compassion. The pastors who put together this prayer vigil told me one of the main objectives was to show the community that by actually coming forward is one of the first steps in making a difference. Whether you're black, white, red, brown, whatever, it's just like the old song, red and yellow, black and white, we're precious in a sight. So, you know, we're all of the human race. While the prayer vigil was going on, two loud God, bangs were heard. Police, police say they were caused by fireworks. This video was taken as two officers who were at the vigil ran to check it out. Two men were charged with disorderly conduct. The sheriff's office tells me although fireworks are legal in Lawrenceburg, a prayer vigil was not an appropriate place to set them off because it could have induced panic. In Anderson County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Now, if you go to the WKYT Facebook page, we have more video showing police running after one of those disorderly conduct suspects and stopping him.